Good morning, good morning, Y254 family. Thank you so much for tuning in every single morning. Uh, we do appreciate your company as always. My name is Shiko Kaitani and welcome to another edition of Hello Day. A big thank you to my fantastic co-host, Mr. Barry Moses, Hilda Wadidi, and of course the lovely Kalami Val for kicking us off at exactly 7 a.m. on Y in the morning. This being Wednesday, you know we always love to give you fantastic ideas and tips on how to live your best life ever, ever rather. And uh, if we're not talking about health, we're talking about wellness in general. And today we actually are going to be getting into the world of dating, in specific online dating. And with me in studio is dating coach, psychologist and sexologist Pete Van Altena, who is no stranger to TV. He's definitely made numerous appearances on TV and has also been a consultant on the fantastic dating show to Juane. Well, he's here to help us understand online dating in specific and why more and more young people are actually switching to it. The big question is, does it work? How do we navigate around online dating now that it's actually become the in thing? So Karibu Sana Pete, yet again, it's so good to see you. Santa Sana. I, I, I would be over the moon screaming, shouting because now you're here. But I mean, this cold is just bogging me down. So you're just going to have to forgive me today. <laughs> No, no problem. No problem. Okay, so welcome back to the show. Thank you. As we discuss online dating. Okay, so first of all, let's start by your thoughts on it. As a professional in this field, do you actually advocate for people to be dating online? That's a difficult question to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> we all think we are digital. Yeah. So we use laptops mm -hmm. and phones so it's an automatic thing it's part of the electronic business yeah. to do online dating mm -hmm. but i have difficulties with the word online and dating in combination because online dating is not dating mm. according to me ladies look at it as a pre-selection method yeah you see a lot of people there and you say this one forget about it that one never that one it's, it's just swipe, like that. Swipe, 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 swipe. <laughs> yeah. It's the same in Tinder, in, mm. in yeah. there's so many of those sites. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to mention all of them. Don't think this is dating mm. because that web is full of lies. Yeah. Realistically, the pictures you see might not be the person you're talking to. Right. The things he tells you mm -hmm. might be colored yeah. or overdone. Okay, okay, uh, exaggerated. You don't, get, you don't get what you want to hear. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know, does it really worry you that, you know, there's this shift now because everybody seems to be very comfortable, um, reserved behind their laptop. What does that really tell you about society today? Is it that we're just being lazy or what? No, not lazy, mm. afraid for the direct contact. Okay. Because you know, if you go to a pub, yeah. the music is too loud, <laughs> you might drink too much, yeah. and you meet a Malavi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That's this. if you made that experience, mm -hmm. go to a dance club, the music is too loud, you cannot have a normal discussion. So that's the, the advantage of online dating. Mm -hmm. Nobody is disturbing you, it's mm -hmm. quiet. You can even do it in the middle of the night right. if you can't sleep. Yeah. So those are the modern things of pre-selecting mm -hmm. a possible partner. Yeah. But now the disadvantages. The disadvantages are it's not real because chemistry and harmony are missing. Mm -hmm. You don't feel each other. You just talk. Yeah. Or you look at pictures or small videos. Yeah. How would you how would you explain? For those who say that, by the way, we did meet online, we've dated for a while online, there seems to be that vibe, um, you know, even if someone is a thousand miles away, but you can just feel them. And anyway, now you've got, you, you've got your, your Skype calls. And so... Let him come. I'm talking to the ladies, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let him come to your country, to yeah. your place where you live, yeah. because... He, has, m he might have not a single idea about living in Kenya. Mm. I live here now since 13 years. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. 
But your Swahili is good, at least. Uh, hapa na hapa. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Hapa na hapa, okay. Yeah. We just keep up. Yeah. No, the thing is, he should get to know you in real life. Right. Dating starts there. Mm -hmm. So all this it online stuff is just, no. I don't call it dating. I call it pre-selecting. Mm -hmm. You finally find somebody you might be interested in. Yeah. But it starts with dating in real life. So invite him to come and visit you, not just for 14 days, at least for three months. <laughs> yes. Because 14 days holidays is your show time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dating for me, by definition, is getting to know each other. Right. And that takes time. Mm -hmm. So for me, the minimum is at least six months yeah. dating. Yeah. But some of the guys date for five years and they never propose. I know, right? I heard that. That's Now crazy. I know from one of my clients in counseling, yeah. he told me I'm dating since five years. They both came and I found out the guy is still married to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh. But it was nothing to laugh okay, for Okay, I nothing to laugh for Oh my God. That's crazy. No, it's, it happens often. Yeah. It happens often. Yeah, yeah. Even in real life, he dates a girl and she doesn't know about his wife and his wife doesn't know that he's dating somebody else Ooh. and it's very difficult to become real yeah on connected to the ground mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dating is a difficult business it is because we try to find out do we fit together yeah. and in fact let me be honest we don't mm -hmm. men and women don't fit together yeah. except for the plumbing uh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies talk like a waterfall. Yeah. You have 25,000 words in a day. Mm. We are finished after 10,000. Yeah. That already brings a problem. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, if you find out where do the decisions come from, from a lady. Yeah. It's based on feelings. Mm. We, it is. We men, our, our decisions are based on facts. Yeah. So all those things show you Th 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 we don't fit. Yeah, there's a disconnect. Yeah. Th there's a disconnect. So men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Exactly. That's okay. the book. That's the and problem. I, I, I like us to actually focus on the ladies right about now. And by the way, if you do want to text in, I'm so sorry, I forgot to mention that SMS number earlier on. 22162 is that SMS number. Please begin your text message with YM254 and tell us where you are watching from. If you do have any questions for Pete, well, this is the time concerning online dating. And I'm going to ask my director to let me know if anything actually pops up on our SMS number or even on our social media platforms. You're welcome. Do that. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> All right. So, Pete, let's talk a little bit about the mistakes that women make when they go online. I have heard countless of times that women will join Tinder. They will do all sorts of things online, hoping to meet the one online. It's like, why would you go on Tinder to, 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 to look for your boyfriend, your husband? Well, it's a safe approach. It's a, it's a soft approach, a, 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 a safe one. You don't have to give in too much of mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. You just show it a dozens of pictures. Yeah. But many of those pictures are just, uh, yeah. sorry, uh, I must say that directly. Most of those pictures are you showing what mama gave you. <laughs> uh, the, the front, the side, and yeah. turning around, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Some of them are not even the total height. Mm -hmm. It's only like a passport photo. Yes. I see the same in Instagram, for instance. Yeah. Be critical and look at Instagram. Most of the ladies are showing only pictures. Mm -hmm. So it's more like a marketing tool for how can I sell myself? Whoa. Sorry. Can you please repeat that point again? Because <laughs> Instagram to me is like a marketing tool to sell yourself. Ah! <laughs> Hardly you see a picture of a lady together with her child. Yeah. Well, if she's 35, you see that in Tinder, yeah. the age. Then I expect her to have one or even two or perhaps even three <laughs> children from different fathers. Uh, yeah. Th those are the things you see. You hardly see that. Most of them are just presenting themselves. Right. And there's no real information about the person. Mm -hmm. You just see pictures. Yeah. Well, that clicks for us men because we are visuals. Mm -hmm. Looking. Yeah. We see forms. We see curves. Mm -hmm. That makes click for us. That you and they know it. So yeah. that's why they show it. Yeah. 
But is that is that the whole the whole thing you want to know? You want to know more about the personality, mm -hmm. and I think all those things really start to work yeah. or not mm -hmm. when you start dating in real life. Yeah. So let him come to your country. Yeah. Not just a short visit. Yeah. Time to get to know each other. So three months a visit must be a minimum. Six months would be better. Okay, and um, there's also that talk about how guys. You see, the way women are actually online for love, men are actually online just to hunt. Correct. That's how we are made, by the way. <gasps> Jeez. No. <laughs> you said Jesus. Yes, it's our creator. <laughs> That's how he made us. We are hunters. Yeah. If that would not happen, we would not have a next generation. You know, you're probably the first guy who is non-African to actually say things the African way. Because that is <laughs> I'm at home, my the dear. only thing we Chico, keep hearing I'm from Kenyan home. men. We're hunters, we're hunters. You know us, we're hunters, we're lions. Yeah, when they <laughs> give up on one relationship, the yeah. lady has a heartbreak and he's going to the next flower. Mm. Yeah. Can I be realistic? Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't lose our heart, we don't break our hearts. Yeah. The ladies have the heartbreak. Yes. And they suffer for a year, mm -hmm. and the man is already living together with another chick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. That's anyway, how it why is. do you do that? But anyway, that's another topic for another <laughs> day. So you're telling us about why we should be careful when you go online, because men are there to hunt. Correct. Mm. Yeah. And what would you say to the ladies? Take care of your heart. Don't run into a relationship. Mm -hmm. And if you're 30, don't show him that you're desperate. Mm -hmm. Because I know the pressure comes from up country. When will I see my grandchildren? <laughs> sure, sure, it's on your case. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's the pressure which yeah. comes up. Mm. And, and if you're getting to 30, 35, you know the clock is ticking. Yeah. And then you might make the wrong decisions to marry the first one who crossed your life. Yeah. And then you stay with him and you hope that it will work. Yeah. L let me give you another advice. Instead of doing online dating, most Kenyan girls are Christians, mm -hmm. date in church. <laughs> they what? Th they think it's forbidden, it's not biblical, but according to me, when you search in church, you might find somebody who has the same values. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah? <laughs> so if you pray for a partner, open your eyes, he might be standing next to okay, you. Okay, Pete, no. That, <laughs> that I disagree. And you see the you way do. everybody in studio is cracking up. <laughs> because we're like, what church? In fact, you're told the two places that is a huge no is church and the bar. I, no, I, I think the, the, the bar is wrong. The church is ideal, the according to me. Yeah. Because if you are a convinced Christian, you would mm. like to have a partner with the same beliefs. Right. So why not, why not finding him in church? Because there's also too much pretense. There's too many masks going okay, on. Okay, that is getting to know each other. Yeah. Whether he's just there, mm -hmm. also only to hunt. Yeah. That happens. I know that. Yeah. I attend a church where 5,000 5, people are there every Sunday morning. Yeah. So I, I'm not guaranteed that you'll find your future partner there. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a good area to find out. Yeah get to know each other mm -hmm. so after church meet people talk to people yeah okay yeah well just so you know by the way wendy kimani and Avata, the one and only wendy kimani actually started her relationship on myspace if you're not too sure about wendy kimani she's actually the first runners up from tasca project fame uh i think it was season three if i'm not too wrong but anyway she has such an amazing relationship right now with her current husband marvin and they do have a son taji and um i want to throw this in uh, um uh, rather i want to throw this to you pete um um, you know, for Wendy, one of the points that she gives to ladies out there, or one of the tips is that for her and Marvin, when they met on MySpace, my God, like that was like, Age I think in the day. 18th century, mm -hmm. who's on, <laughs> is MySpace even still there? But um, she talks about how she paced her relationship with Marvin online. It was not, I met him on Monday, by next week, Tuesday, it's like, okay, I want to come to Kenya. It was like, just be friends. What can you say about pacing it? Well, the friend zone is very difficult. Okay. I don't advise ladies to 
pick somebody from the friend zone mm. and make him your boyfriend. Okay. You're losing on two sides. You're mm -hmm. losing your best friend mm -hmm. and he might not be your future husband. Okay. So keep the friend zone active mm. as friends. Mm. And don't select out of your friend zone somebody who has to move out of the friend zone yeah. to the relationship zone mm. because he might be pushed back to the friend zone and then it doesn't work yes. at all anymore. <laughs> so when you talk about areas where you should not date, yeah. we mentioned the bar. The other one is your, the company where you work. Yes. Don't put your finger in the ink of the company. <laughs> because if this is not going to work... Now you have World War III one happening of you, One here. of the two of you have to change the job. Yeah. Because working afterwards in the same company after a relationship goes bad, mm -hmm. Uh, that becomes very difficult. Okay. I have clients in counseling who, who have done this. Yes. You date your colleague. Yeah, you date your colleague. Uh-huh. Uh, that doesn't work. And then now you have to see their face every day. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you don't like them anymore. People have to choose sides. Uh-huh. <laughs> so if it's a large company, you can ask for a transfer. But yeah. Looking and working with the same person, you dated and you had an intimate relationship and yeah. now it's not working anymore. Mm. Don't make that mistake. Okay, okay. That's a no so if, zone. So if, if you end up being friends first and just cool with someone online, yeah. let it remain that way. Friend zones are important. Mm. You can have friends for your whole life. Okay. And partners might change yeah. from one to the next one. Okay, okay. This is one of the frequently asked questions that we have, which is about how to attract online. There are certain rules, there are certain strategies that a lot of coaches across the globe give on how you can be successful to date online. And one of that is, one of those actually is your appearance. What do you have to say about appearance? Where do we get it wrong? And especially the ladies. I know you touched a little bit about Instagram and about, you mm. know, but let's talk about profile pictures in specific. How do you come off presentable how do you come off as attractive to the opposite sex even and, and even this goes out for the men as well try to be honest altering your pictures mm -hmm. so don't go to a professional photographer yeah who makes a marvelous picture out of you and you ask yourself is that me because <laughs> <laughs> it's not you <laughs> no. so don't okay. don't try don't try to make it too professional yeah in a normal surrounding. Yeah. So sitting at a table and drinking a cup of coffee or a glass of wine mm -hmm. and, and the picture like that works. Yes, because it's but real. It's, it's not only about pictures. Mm -hmm. Being attractive in the internet is also text the truth. Yeah. So don't lie. Yeah. Be honest. Don't try to make yourself look better than you really are. Mm. So look in your mirror first. Right. And talk to your mirror. By the way, that's my advice as a, sexual <laughs> as a, as a counseling psychologist. Okay, okay. Look at yourself and talk to yourself before you go talking to your computer or your laptop or, yes. your, or your, your phone. Okay, I like that. So don't exaggerate no. your appearance online. Mm -mm. Okay, um, it's not showtime. It, okay, <laughs> it's not showtime. Okay, no. I want to talk about a little bit on uh, posing in terms of mis mistakes that we do. Posing in a group and using a group picture as your profile picture? For me, it's strange. My first question would be, wh where are you in this picture? <laughs> yes. Who is who? And Who's it who? might be that I'm yeah. more attractive to the lady who stands next no! to you. <laughs> I think, uh, no, let me ask you. So it's me, <laughs> that's Hilda, that's Kalabibal, uh, and, 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 and let's say Shiko Cosmos, and we're all four of us, yeah. and maybe we're having a thing, and then suddenly you see a picture of all four of us, and you're like, ooh, Val. <laughs> <laughs> It happens. The same thing happens, happens in real life. Yeah. <laughs> I see people coming for a first date and they take their girlfriend with them. Something like a bodyguard or so. And then the guy might be more interested in your bodyguard than in you. <laughs> Things go absolutely wrong there. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So have take the courage. Notes, when you want notes. to meet him, meet him one to one. Yes. Don't carry your girlfriend. No. No. Don't carry your girlfriend. No, Please. That, and no group photos. No. No group photos, because you can see what will happen. <laughs> okay. Posing with a member of the opposite sex. Yeah, similar. 
I, I just looked at pictures in Instagram yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I saw a lady which I know, yeah. together with a man. Mm -hmm. And I thought, did she finally find somebody? And then she wrote underneath, this is me and my cousin. <laughs> But the way they were standing there gave me the impression from, wow, this is a couple. <laughs> so it's, it's a wrong information when you're there together with another person from the other sex. Yes. It gives a wrong impression. It gives the wrong She's impression. She's already dealt with. She has already somebody. So wha why should I even write back to her? Oh, wow. It, it's, it's an... Uh, and people don't it's see It's absolutely that as a big negative. Deal. It's a negative yeah, one. Yeah, but it actually passes off a wrong message. Definitely. Yeah, so if you're looking today, don't pose with the opposite sex. I mean, uh -uh. it sounds, you know, <laughs> silly, but it's true. <laughs> it's <laughs> and you can see what happens. Okay. Um, I want to talk about single moms in this particular instance, Pete. Yeah. Would you advocate for a single mother who is definitely back out in the market to actually pose with her child. And this is, by the way, I've seen this because obviously I'm a lady and I have tons of girlfriends who are single moms. And they always wonder, if I put a picture with me and my toy, ah, is that going to scare guys off? No. No? No. For me. I like children. Okay, that's different. Yeah. Okay, that's the first thing. Secondly, I don't expect a lady who is more than 30 to be without a child. Mm -hmm. By the way, I read a statistic about England. All girls under 14, 15% of them already had sex. Wow. So the, the chance mm -hmm. that a lady will show up with a child. Yeah is very 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 good possible mm -hmm. and i think it's an honest picture it should not be your first profile picture but if you send some more pictures yeah then combine on photograph number three or four yeah. you are a mother and you yeah. have a child mm -hmm. it should be an information which is either for a man saying yeah. no i don't want mm -hmm. or this is lovely she already has a child yeah so Meaning just be yourself Yes. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. It's all about honesty. Yeah. Don't and mind. Don't, don't mind if, uh, okay, you're saying don't mind. If you scare the guy off, he's gone. He, of course. he wasn't going to be there anyway. He's definitely not your future partner. Okay. Because but he has to connect also to the child. Okay. But it's worse for you to actually, you know, create this image of you're a single, happy go lucky woman with no responsibilities. And then on the first date, boom, I have a child. No, don't bring that in. A, uh, when you meet for the first time yeah. and you have not shown that in your profiles, don't tell them on the first date that you have a child because mm -hmm. that child is not there. Mm -hmm. It's only you and her, him. Mm -hmm. So talk to each other mm -hmm. about what is there, not about your father, what he <laughs> did to you, or your yeah. former ex. Yeah. Uh, yeah? Don't mention those things. Mm -hmm. For a first dating, keep it between you and me. Okay. And then, because of the child, mm -hmm. don't bring him too early to your house. Mm. Because otherwise you have to explain to that little boy, this is not mm -hmm. an ongoing thing. He is just a guest. <laughs> yeah. And then the next week somebody else shows up. So <laughs> it's like, mommy, what yeah. happened to uncle? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he might even mention the name. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Andrew is not here today. Yeah. And now I meet Peter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big no, mess. that's that's wrong big mess okay uh, and, and and let's talk about even in terms of um, as ladies because you have touched a little bit about that and how it kind of affects our image when we are overdoing it on social media and and like you said it's just it comes off like we're marketing ourselves as a single lady who's trying to get back into the dating field or you're trying to look for a partner um, how, how should we keep that balance between showing your fun side, your personality, and still showing that, by the way, I am a reserved, I'm a, you know, I'm a lady who's together. I mean, just keeping a clean image. How do you strike that balance? Don't talk about your exes. Mm -hmm. On he doesn't. Media? Uh, the, this, yeah, yeah, because it's in our personality, we want to fix things. Yes. We are fixers. Yeah. We want to bring solutions. And that's not what you need. Mm -hmm. The X is X. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Leave him there. Yeah. So don't mention him. Yeah. 
he's, he's not interested in what you have lived before. He won't like to live with you for the rest of his life. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. So th that is also being honest. Okay. You don't have to bring that in the first dating talk. Mm -hmm. But after two or three meetings, in real life. Mm -hmm. You can share something about your experiences. Okay. All right, so no ranting about your ex on social mm -mm. media. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. No I expect point. you, you have some experience already. Yeah. Okay. I'm not the first dating. Yeah. Another mm. point that you'd like to share about don'ts? Uh, go for coffee, not for alcohol. Okay. So as you're online setting up that date, don't set up mm -hmm. a bar date. No, make it, keep it simple. Okay. Just a cup of coffee mm -hmm. in a restaurant mm -hmm. where other people don't meet privately with him. Mm -hmm. So keep it keep it in keep it public, mm -hmm. and and have a solution if things go wrong. So have your own money in case you need a taxi to go yeah. home. Yeah. Don't depend on him. <laughs> he might bring you, he means. might bring you somewhere else. Oh my God! This just reminds me about Ulem Say Jemo. By the way, this again. <laughs> He is hilarious. He comes up with all these parodies about the dating scenario in Kenya. And it's so typical for girls on the first day to actually show up with nothing. Like, you, I don't know you, Pete. I meet you at a coffee shop and I expect you to pay for my Uber to go home or my mat or whatever it is. <laughs> like that expression. <laughs> You're like, what? What? But guys actually talk about this, that this is a real thing. Yeah. Not only have you come with your girlfriends to our first date. Yes. You want me to also pay for the Uber? Sometimes I get those messages in in advance. <laughs> if I come to your date, yeah. do you pay for my Uber? Then I tell them I, I go by Matatu. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't go to town with my car, I can't park it, yeah. and it costs 300 bob. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. it, ma it makes no sense to take the car to the town. All right, and I don't I like drop that. you afterwards. Okay, so as we, as we continue <laughs> to uh, discuss about the don'ts online, let's take a look at some of the reactions that have come to uh, 22162 real quick. Um, oh, you have SMS. That's yeah, good. Yeah, nice. you're excited. Huh? Okay, um, someone here doesn't say their name, but says, Hey, Shiko, online dating is a no-go zone. A lot of fake profiles are going on, creating very uh, humongous expectations on the other end. People should go out and meet real people in their best or worst shapes. Congratulations. To whoever you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try it in real life. Yeah, yeah. Online is not realistic. Okay. The, the chance to get somebody there yeah. for the rest of your life mm -hmm. is 0 0.0001 percent. Yeah, hey, hey. so which means never. No. Okay, <laughs> we've got um, a tweet that's come in from Tasha Lee. Thank you so much, Dali, who says, Good morning. Please ask Pete if it's safe to meet strangers online in private. As long as, he's as he is a stranger in your eyes, don't do that. Okay. So get to know each other over in online dating mm -hmm. with more detailed information. And, and s once in a while, I even advise them Google that person. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you might find something. Mm -hmm. Google. I mean, yeah, not, not whether he's in, he has been in prison or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> you don't find that. But <laughs> if you find other information than that, what he tells you. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. One of my yeah, one of my girlfriends actually tells me the minute you meet a guy and he takes your number, Facebook him immediately. Like you need to be Correct. all over that social media. Correct. <laughs> find out, find some male pictures. Yeah. Look at his behavior, mm. the way he talks to other people. Yeah. How many girls are in his friends list? Yes. Are you just one of five hundred? Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you want to be number uh -huh. one. <laughs> But Pete, I, I, I want us to want to wrap up, okay? And I want us to talk about, like I had said earlier on, in terms of the images and the pictures that we put up as ladies. And you talked about how the Instagram is a marketing tool now for a lot of women. Mm -hmm. How is this affecting us as ladies in a man's eyes? All ladies know that a man is a visual type. Yeah. So they show too much details. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I mean, yeah? <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, we react on curves. That's how we look, yeah? <laughs> Forms and curves. 
that's how we are made. We are visuals yeah. and they know it. They know so it. many times I see pictures which show too much. Too much. Yeah. What does that signal in your head? When, if you're a guy who's definitely like online, what does that communicate to you? Okay. Can I be honest? Yeah, please. We men think about sex 15 times per day. So you motivate this to even increase that to 30 <laughs> times per day. <laughs> okay, the guys in the studio are going crazy. Uh -huh. uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And for you, when you're honest, mm -hmm. sex is not important. Yeah. You can put sex in a drawer, mm -hmm. close the drawer, lock it, <laughs> throw away the key, afterwards you don't even know where the key is. <laughs> That's for ladies. And we men are the total opposite. Yeah. We think about it all the time. Mm -hmm. So if you push that by sending us pictures which show what mm -hmm. mama gave you, <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah. it improves our mm -hmm. sexual impulses. And it should not be sex only. Sex is very important, by the way, of course. Yeah. But it's not the only thing. It's not the only thing. And for some men, it's the only thing mm. they're looking for. So it even becomes harder for you as a lady to see through who's being honest yes. and in your life. Yeah, because now you've got a hundred men who are just out for one thing. Mm -hmm. And then now it gets harder for you to find the ones who actually want to get to know what's in your mind, who you are. See, yeah. see how difficult it is to, to work, to mm -hmm. use the three letter word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We even go around it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's part of life. Okay. It's what men are looking for. Yeah. They cannot be without it. Mm -hmm. But there should be more. So give as much information about the rest of your life and not just sexy pictures. Let me say it this way. Yeah. Don't send sexy pictures. Yeah. You know how men react on it. Yeah. That's true. I like that. Okay. Well said, well said. As we say goodbye, Pete, how can one actually look for authentic authenticity rather when going online? How do you spot a fake? Keep in touch with him over a longer time and then you will realize that he sends different pictures which are not similar to the ones he sent in the beginning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Secondly, uh -huh. he might after two months dating online, mm -hmm. I don't believe in dating, but anyway, it's uh, getting to know each other online, mm -hmm. uh, you might find out that he changes the way he talks about things mm -hmm. in his life. Mm -hmm. So you get background information about how he thinks about life. Yeah. And one of my main questions is for you ladies, mm -hmm. ask the guy about his future plans. Yeah. Because most men only have plans for next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Uh -huh. So you have to ask him, what are your plans for the next five or ten years? And if he has any, mm -hmm. then your second question should be, is there space for me in those plans? Yeah. Or am I already excluded? Right. Right. That's how you find out whether he's fake or, or realistic. Okay. Because if he wants to connect to a partner for the rest of his life, yeah. he should think about her, including him in his plans for the future. Absolutely. I like it. Uh, just as an FYI, there is a story I came across, um, and believe it or not, in England, there is an, an ongoing case. Uh, we don't know how far it's gotten to, but currently it's still ongoing, uh, of a Gail Newland who is said to have tricked a friend into sex by using a fake male identity and prosthetic you-know-what. And it all happened online. It actually turns out that Gail has been sentenced to six years and six months in prison just for that. And it all started with online dating. So you can see how messy this situation can get. And in our country, now we have a law yeah. dealing with those things which happen in the Internet. Mm -hmm. So I think that yeah. in future we will have cases like that in Kenya also. Yeah. Because if it gets to a point whereby you've tricked me and then when it comes to us meeting on the first time and, you know, we're going to get intimate on the first date, mm -hmm. he blindfolds this lady and before you know it, she realizes, oh, it's not a man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So Australia, by the way, now yeah. has three kinds of people. Yes. Yeah. Female, male and X <laughs> in your passport. Wow. Australia has that at the moment. And I know another story, which is also shocking. If you don't get to know your partner well enough and you get married to yes, him, yeah. 
And during your honeymoon, mm -hmm. he starts dating the barman. <laughs> uh -huh. Then you find out, my God, this guy is gay. Surprise on your, on your honeymoon. Right. Which is proof that you don't know each other. So please take your time before yeah. you mm. put on the ring. Yeah. And take your time while you're online. Mm -hmm. Okay. We sure hope this conversation was definitely helpful. I always, always like to say, please get in touch with us. If you do have more questions, and in particular to dating, anything related to relationships, I believe that Pete is available. Yes. right to answer any of those questions and we'll definitely have him on the show yet again it's been amazing the response is fantastic thank you for interacting with us through that sms number which is 22162 pete van altanen a dating coach psychologist and sexologist in studio with us talking about online dating and how we can actually navigate that particular world okay so i promise pete will be coming up very very soon back on <laughs> y254 so not to worry but on behalf of the breakfast club thank you so much for watching we do appreciate you. Have a lovely day up ahead.